Have you ever been diving in Palmer Cave? It is one of the most popular dive sites in the south of Tenerife. The cave used to be a lava tube. It sit down at the bottom of the ocean and around 32 meters deep. The cave has a wide open entrance, what makes it easy to explore its big saloon. If you pay attention to the right side of the exit, you're gonna have a surprise. Who's this little guy? Do you know his name? My name's David Jones, but people in the dive center know me as Speedy. First dive? 15 years ago. What's your favorite dive site? Palmar Cave. And your diving level? Advanced with various specialities. Your favorite animal? Is the angel shark. Who is the best keeper? <laughs> Ray, because he gives me good-natured abuse. <laughs> Tea or coffee in the morning? Coffee. Coffee. Okay, now we know it's called spitting, but how this ended up here? The statue is in fact a garden gnome, uh, which is a garden gnome of a scuba diver, which I spotted in a garden centre some years ago. Bought it for a bit of fun. Um, my wife, Eileen, um, coated it with uh, clear yacht varnish to protect it and put decals on and called it speedy after me. Where did you find it? I bought it in the UK. I bought it over my hand luggage and uh, it in 2015 um, which caused some consternation at security at the airport <laughs> because they'd never seen a garden gnome in hand luggage. <laughs> Well, when I arrived at the security, the, I had the garden gnome in a, in a small backpack, but with the top of a hat sticking out. <laughs> the security lady, um, I tried to tell her in advance what she would see. I said, you, there's something unusual in my hand luggage. And she said, there's nothing you could surprise me with, sir. I have seen, in 15 years, I've, I've worked at the airport I have seen absolutely everything. You could not surprise me. That was until it went through the x-ray scanner. <laughs> All of a sudden, almost every security person in the, in the airport was crowded round the scanner looking at the, uh, at, the, at the garden gnome. And she turned to me with a smile on her face and said, you're right, sir, that is something I've never seen before. <laughs> What was the plan? The first idea, I wanted to put it in the Barranco swim through, but as that's at 40 meters, I thought, A, not very many divers would be able to see it. And secondly, it might be moved by the currents. I thought if I put it in the cave, more divers would see it and it wouldn't be affected by the currents. So it's more likely to stay there for a long time. Aquamarina knew about it? Uh, Madge, one of the co-owners of the dive centre, knew in advance, but I don't think she believed me. Well, I told her I was bringing something over to put down below. <laughs> it was when she saw it, she just burst out laughing. Uh, everyone who sees it smiles. And that was one of the main objects of doing what I did, putting it in the cave, because it's a very popular dive site. And all I wanted to do <clears throat> was for divers who've never been there before to suddenly see it and, and it puts a smile on their face. <laughs> who was guiding? Ray. Ray? Ray Vonk. Yeah. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was mad. He was just amused by it. How was the diving? I said I was going to go down to the cave, but I would spend most of my dive in the cave, which I did. I wanted to get the positioning just right um, to make sure it was anchored in the sand and was just touching the wall so it's less likely to get knocked or damaged or affected by current. So I was probably in the cave for about 15 minutes. Do you think he's the guardian of the cave? Well, if you like that, yes. He's, <laughs> he's now a permanent fixture of the, of the, uh, of the cave. Oh, it's certainly a, an attraction. Um, Dive centres from all over the south of the island have commented on the gnome and they always mention it 
to their new, their new divers who've never seen it before. The gnome has been down since Christmas 2015. Um, so it's, it's over three years now. I, I would hope it would stay there for a few years longer. <laughs> Do you think Speedy scares the people? Well, a couple of people, when they first see it, just <laughs> they, they flinch and then they suddenly realise what they're looking at and they always smile. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> yeah. The whole point of the exercise was, when I saw it, it put a smile on my face. And so I put it in my favourite dive, dive site to put smile, a smile on the faces of other divers. We think that having fun is a very important part of diving. To be sure the little spitty will continue putting smiles in everyone's faces, we did a cleaning session. After three years in the bottom, he needed a shower. Don't forget to say hi to Speedy in your next dive at Palmer Cave.